And then the first week I'm in Arizona, and the second week I'm in South Dakota. And on Friday the 13th of August, I drive right from South Dakota to the emergency room at Freighter, urgent care in New Berlin where I get eventually diagnosed with COVID. I spend the next two weeks solidly in bed. I don't <laughs> cough with very, very unpleasant symptoms. And then the third week, I'm half in bed and half able to get up. So if you want to characterize it as no work, I guess you can. Well, you were eventually paid for those two months. Yes, I was. What did you do to prevent you from being able to look at your old Yahoo account? I'm unaware of a way to search a, a discontinued email. Well, how did you discontinue it? You just stopped I asked using? somebody to, <laughs> to end the account. And a Yahoo account is a, a free account, correct? Yes. So if you just stop using it, you still have access to use it. No, the account was deleted. And who deleted the account? Someone who was helping me in my office. Uh, frankly, I, I agree that at this point, um, finding somebody for contempt for not, I mean, the purge conditions were tell me what happened and what I have heard today is whatever work that was done was minimal, uh, that the taxpayers were paying $11,000 a month to do. Uh, documents were disposed of if they didn't, um, which may or may not be a separate issue. Um, and frankly, I think at this point, um, there's no more documents to be gained from this, any documents that were contrary to what fit in the scheme of things were destroyed.